Good afternoon, TK. It is math circle time. All right. Do you have your dominoes cards from last week? If you don't, go get them and you will need a marker, okay? This week we're using the back side. And this week we're going to be working on writing the actual numbers and sequencing, okay? So go ahead and grab your things and come on back. All right, so for today, we are just going to write numbers, okay? So we're going to start with a zero. A zero is a big Easter egg, just like that, okay? All right, got it. So we'll put the zero over here. What comes after zero? One. Nice straight line down. There we go. And then two. It's kind of like half of a heart. Okay, so a curve and then a slide down. And then walk it out. There's your two. All right, a three. Two curves. One, two. There's your three. A four. First, you make a short line down. Then a short line across and a long straight line down. There's your four. Five. There are lots of ways to make five. I like to make it this way. First, a short line down. Okay, and then we're gonna make a big belly to the back, a curve to the back, and I'm gonna give it a hat at the top. There's my five. My six is like a C. Oh, it's a magic C. So I'm gonna make a curve, and then I keep curving in, curving in, curving in until I touch the other side. Six. Seven is all straight lines. Straight horizontal, straight diagonal. There's a seven. Sometimes you'll see people write a seven like this with the little line. And that's another way to make a seven. Actually, when Miss Boo's not thinking, I write sevens like that. Eight, okay. So we can make an S and then close the gate, or we can make two donuts. So today I'm going to make an S and then I'm gonna close the gate to make my eight. Okay. Nine, it likes to stand straight and tall with a big happy face at the top. 10, 10 is one whole group of 10 and nothing left over, right? So one and a zero makes 10, our first two digit number. What comes after 10? 11, a one and a one. Twelve. A one and a two, like a heart, half of a heart, and a horizontal line across. Thirteen, one whole group of ten, and three left over, three ones. Fourteen, a one, and a four. 15, a one, and a five. 16, one, and a six. 17, a one, and a seven. 18, 
one and an eight this time just to be fair i'm going to make two donuts to make my eight 19 a one and a nine okay so 19 means i have one group of 10 and then nine ones if i give 19 one more if I give nine ones one more, that's going to make a whole set of 10. That means I will get two groups of 10, which gives me two in the tens place and zero in the ones place. And that will give me 20. Okay. 21 is a two. And a one, 22 is a two, and a two, 23 is a two, and a three, 7, 24 would be a two, and a four. 25 would be a two and a five. Whoa, that's a skinny two I have. Two and a five, 26, a two and a six. 27, see, sometimes you'll see that cross, so I'm just going to write it for you like that, just like the 8, 28, Twenty-nine. So here's another way to write a nine. There you go. And thirty. A three and a zero. I have one more, so let's go ahead and do thirty-one. Thirty. One. Okay. There you go. And then go ahead and keep it safe because the whole week this week we will be using these cards. We're actually going to be using both sides. Okay. For the games that we are doing. So keep it safe and bring it tomorrow to Math Circle. Okay. Bye.